Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Lock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve IGSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 19 Speed Time and Distance Exercise 19A Question 14. Right? This one says, tick the correct option. Right? So we have to tick the correct options. And what have we got here? It says, Sujit covers a distance in 40 minutes as if he drives at a speed of 60 km per hour on an average. Right? Then find the speed at which he must drive to reduce the time of the journey by 25%. So here there's a boy Sujit and he covers a distance, right? Certain distance, okay? For, uh, in 40 minutes, right? Suppose he's going from here all the way to here, right? A to B again. So the time that he takes to go from here to here is what? 4, 0, 40 minutes, fine. Then it says if he drives to the school at a speed of 60 kilometers per hour right this is an average speed not the accurate one but it's average fine now this much if he goes at 60 kilometers per hour he takes 40 minutes time fine to reach the destination now it says that if the speed uh, like if we have to reduce the time of the journey by 25 percent right so 40 minutes is the total time right we know the total time is what? 40 minutes, fine. That it took Sujit in the very beginning to go from uh, the starting to the very end, right? Now, this 45 minutes, right? So, it says to reduce the time of journey by 25%. So, we have to reduce 25% from 40 minutes, right? This is what uh, it's trying to say that we have to reduce uh, 25 percent of the time out of 40 minutes right that will be uh, uh, 75 percent of 40 minutes right the remaining time that will be that will be 75 percent so there are two ways in which we can find the uh, remaining time right or you can say the leftover time whatever you want to say right because uh, because we cannot take the entire thing like we cannot take 40 minutes only right because it says we have to reduce it so uh, reduce it by 25 percent of 40 fine so if you see we are going to subtract 25 percent from what 4 0 40 minutes right this is what it is so 25 percent from 40 minutes or basically 40 minutes means what 100 percent okay so basically we are going to subtract 25 percentage from 100 percent why 100 percent because our total time is 100 uh, 40 minutes and the total thing that is there that is always 100 percent right it is not less or not more so from 100 percent we will subtract 25 so we are left with what 75 percent right so that means the remaining time will be 75 percent of what uh, 40 minutes right or the other way in which you can do simply find 25% of 40 minutes and subtract it from 40 minutes. So to shorten the process and this is a uh, most more uh, it, it is a smarter way to do this. So 75% right so 75% means 75 upon 100 into 4040 minutes right. You can do it this way or 25% 25 upon 100 into 40 right. Then what you get you subtract it from 40 but here we will not subtract what we get from 40 right so 3 and 4 4 and 40 goes 10 times so we get here 30 minutes right that means this is the remaining time 30 minutes is the time that is left after reducing it by 25 percent fine now this is the time 35 minutes but again you see it it wants the speed so we know speed equals to distance upon time right that's what it is we know the time now we need to know the distance as well fine so the distance fine the distance which is also required so distance equals to speed into time right so again we'll input the values now which time will we input this one or this 40 minutes we will go back to the initial time right that was 40 minutes right because this is the time which we will use for calculating the new speed. So, so you see in the starting we had 40 minutes and the speed was 60 kilometers per hour, right? Here it is. 
60 kilometers per hour again have a look at the units minutes and hours which is not the same so convert minutes into hours fine so speed is 60 kilometers per hour into time is what 40 minutes right and it's in minutes so convert this to hours simply do what simply just uh, divide it by 60 right so this 60 will be cancelled this one will be cancelled and we are left with 40 kilometers right this is the distance 4040 kilometers now the new speed right this is what it's being asked in the question that equals to what this we all know distance upon time right so again we'll input the values that will be what distance is equal to 40 kilometers upon okay this is kilometers and time is here what 30 minutes again same thing 30 minutes we can convert this into hours here only 30 upon 60 so this will give you 1 by 2 1 by 2 hours right don't forget to do this step it's very important convert minutes into hours all right so we have 1 by 2 hours so 40 kilometers upon 1 by 2 hours okay so this will give you what this will be 40 divided by 1 by 2 right so reciprocate it 40 division changes to multiplication 1 by 2 will be reciprocated so 2 will come up and 1 comes down so we get simply 2 by 1 or at the end what do we get 40 into 2 becomes 8080 kilometers per hour right this becomes our what answer or simply the new speed and here we have option d that is 80 kilometers per hour so simply go ahead and take option d fine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye